So now that I'd decided on a wheel, my first task was to find one. Now, I could have designed it from scratch, but luckily I found a website called Sim Wheel Designs where he had a whole bunch of great designs. So I chose the big boy steering wheel. And then you also need the magnetic shifters as well, which are also on his site that use a micro switch. And I thought I'd start by printing something simple. So you basically just drag the button switch panels into Cura and then choose your filament type. And I just went with, um, I think it's 0.2 millimeter resolution. And I printed in carbon fiber because I wanted them to have quite a sort of matte finish, which I thought would be a really good contrast against the um, epoxy resin sort of finish. And it looked to me similar to how it looked in the original photos of the wheel. So this was the first thing that I did. Here's a look at how the switch panels are going. They're looking pretty good. Fresh off the printer. It came out really well. And that is literally with a glass bed like this, they just come straight off. So these are the little thumb wheels. And yeah, worked great. Really nice. I did the finish. Um, with a setting called ironing which actually smooths it out because it goes over with the hot end and actually just rubs it all over slick eight so the final finish to get a nice sort of matte finish i gave them a light buff with some emery paper just to give them more of that carbon fiber look so yeah this is carbon fiber pla which is the standard filament which you can print with a, a, any 3D printer really, but you just need to get yourself a hardened nozzle and look at getting a direct drive or hardened gears as well because they can wear out a lot quicker than standard PLA. Next up, knobs. I thought doing these little things really helped me learn how to use the software and the printer and the knobs just look awesome. So I thought I'd start by printing four of them. Checking the progress on the knobs. They're looking good. Wowzers. So I know what you're thinking. That bastard didn't actually do anything. He just got someone else's design and printed them. Pretty much but the tricky stuff is still to come. This is uh, one of the first things I did to get the same sort of gloss finish that I could see on the uh, original knobs on the wheel. I just used some epoxy resin and painted that on. I mixed it with a little bit of black pigment to make them really jet black and uh, let them dry for about six hours and then they'll polish up really nice. So the wheel consists of four big knobs and a small knob that's like a selector knob and I noticed looking at the photos of the original that it didn't quite look the same so I thought I would take this into my graphics software and modify it and see if I could make it more like the one on the actual wheel as a challenge so I set myself a challenge to make this wheel look as close as possible to the original wheel so hey what the hell let's learn something along the way See, on the actual wheel, the fangs of the selector switch actually go out over these triangular sections of the pads and sticks out a little bit from the center um, part of the knob. So I thought I'd investigate that. So a couple minutes later, done. Rubbish. It took me weeks. I actually had to learn the program first, of course, so every available hour spare moment I'd be in there 
trying to learn how to use it but basically I use mesh mixer I took the knob the original knob in there which was an STL file which is the standard printer sort of style format which are basically just little triangular um, objects all joined together to make the thing that can be printed so I, I took the knob in and I chopped it up so I chopped up the base plate I chopped up the fangs on the front and um, extended them, extruded them, rejoined them together. It's a huge amount of work. And then I also put a hole through the back of it as well for the grub screw. And also the pot that I'm using has a flat-sided to flat-sided pot, whereas the original little knob was designed to fit on a like a knurled um, potentiometer. So I'm not using one of those. I'm using a, a one that has flat a flat edge on it. It's actually from Leo Bodner from his website, um, which I'll put a link below. So uh, yeah, I had to modify the the knob, but I'm happy with the final result. I think it looks exactly well as close as I could get it to the original one on the wheel, and I uh, learnt some stuff along the way. <laughs>